moving out of the womb into the big wide world <laughs> involves a mammoth change in physiology. One of the most momentous transitions that happens at birth is the switch from being nourished via a feeding line to having to do ingestion and then digestion from scratch. Getting off to an early start helps. Mm, what else helps? Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we explore an easy way to get the digestive tract mobilized so that your baby doesn't suffer from neonatal jaundice. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, the scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Now, ideally, babies should be loading up the digestive tract with colostrum soon after birth. The colostrum is custom designed to get the GI tract online. And one of the very first tasks of the baby's gut is to expel the waste products that have accumulated in the intestine during development. This green goo, better known as meconium, is a potential health risk if it isn't moved out. The reason? It's loaded with bilirubin. Low levels of bilirubin are harmless, but high levels, referred to as hyperbilirubinemia, can be disastrous because the bilirubin starts to spill over into the brain where it causes trouble. Typically, the first sign of trouble is code yellow. Quite literally, baby takes on a yellow tinge. This could ruin baby's first photos, but in and of itself, it's not a big worry. It does hint that baby is having trouble clearing the intestinal tract and might need some help. The jaundice is not surprising. It has to do with normal physiology. 50% of full-term infants show signs of neonatal jaundice, and in preterm infants, it's close to universal. The fix, pop baby under the lights. The light therapy gets to work unconjugating the bilirubin, which means it can finally leave the building. Being able to unconjugate efficiently is one of the things baby guts aren't good at doing. It's not a failure of the baby's gut per se, it's just unconjugating is not something Human guts do. Human guts rely on bacteria to deconjugate the bilirubin into urobilin, which can then be excreted. Since newborns don't come ready made with a trillion little helpers, they run into trouble. Remember, a big part of gut maturation involves acquiring the team of bacteria. And it is imperative baby acquires the right team, which can be a little challenging if baby is born by C-section and not breastfed. A newborn has lots of bilirubin on board and very few bacteria available to help out. Fortunately, light can perform this all-important reaction, but... Phototherapy might not be ideal. It is simulated sun tanning and baby skin is delicate. This can lead to short-term problems such as 
skin rashes and transient bronzing of the skin. And there is some science that suggests exposing delicate skin to bright lights can increase the risk of skin cancer later in life. Plus, a sun tanning baby is not where he or she is supposed to be in the arms of mum. So, is there an alternative? This is what a team of Japanese researchers set about finding. The team went traditional, before the advent of big lights. Baby massage was used to avoid these yellow moments. The team tested just how effective infant massage was at stopping neonatal jaundice. Only healthy full-term babies, which were being breastfed, were enrolled in their study. All the babies were born at the Sekizuka Hospital between September 2006 and November 2006. Babies that arrived on the first day of the study were assigned to the massage group. Babies arriving the next day were assigned to the business as usual group, and so on. In total, 42 babies were included in the analysis. 20 received a 15 to 20 minute massage twice daily for the first five days after birth. The massages were given about an hour after their morning and midday feeding. 22 received no special treatment. The massage was performed by the nursing staff, all of whom had received training from a licensed massage therapist. The massage technique used was an adaption of touch therapy, a technique developed at the University of Miami in the mid-80s. The big difference between the two groups turned out to be how much pooping went on. The massaged babies produced on average 4.6 stools on day one and 4.3 stools on day two. This was a lot more pooping than the business as usual babies, who on average produced 3.3 stools on day one and 2.6 stools on day two. The increased pooping had a knock-on effect on the bilirubin levels. More pooping increased the excretion of the bilirubin, effectively lowering the levels in the blood. And this resulted in, well, less need for phototherapy. All it takes, a tender touch from mum. You don't need the nursing staff at the hospital to massage your baby. It's something any mom can do. With two hands, some oil, and a little know-how, you can give your baby's gut a helping hand with getting that sticky green meconium goo out and create better body chemistry in your newborn. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry so you optimize your health? and the health of your family, visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com, browse our library, or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who's expecting? Share this video with them so they can give baby's gut a little help getting started and potentially avoid their little one suffering from neonatal jaundice. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.